It's been thought as Birmingham's most unusual playground attraction, but this concrete fish sculpture has been granted protected status, which means it will be around for generations. Dating from the 1960s, this is the only surviving play sculpture by the artist John Bridgman. In 1961, he quoted it as being arty and remote, but is this still the case today? I'd rather have more benches in the park than modern art. What do you think it brings to the region? A seat for the school kids when they come out of school, they like sitting there. The sculpture behind you has been awarded protected status. What do you make of it? I think it's a mess. It's never been looked after. It's wrecked. It's a place for the kids to play on. That's what it is. But personally, it doesn't really appeal to you? Not at all. Firstly, I didn't realise it was there, and I walked through here quite a few times. I think it's hidden by the trees anyway. It, it's not one of the most attractive sculptures I've ever seen. Um, just didn't realise it was there. So behind you is a fish sculpture which has been given protected status. What do you make of this? Well, I'm not too sure what my son says. It's a, it looks like a slide. What do you think it brings to the region? I don't know. I, I really don't have a clue. It could be anything. I don't know. It doesn't really fit. It may not be to everybody's taste, but this sculpture has been named one of the highlights of 510 items and locations nationwide, given protected status over the past year by Historic England. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, people pass it and I don't think they realise what it's all about because it's there in a sheltered accommodation area. Really, we could do with some more just to enhance the area a little bit. No. What do you think this brings to the region, the sculpture? I think it's good actually. We should have some more. You know, there's loads of uh, artists about, isn't there? So I think, yes, we should encourage it. This sculpture was created as part of a post Second World War drive to make artwork more accessible to the younger generation. Historic England says such sculptures are a celebration of special places to ensure that England's history is recognised. From King Kong to the giant forward work in the Centenary Square, Birmingham has been home to a number of weird and wonderful sculptures down the years. This is Monica Plaha in Acox Green for the Midlands.